Your Excellency Dr. Abi Ahmed, Prime Minister of Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia and Guest of Honor. Your Excellency Tagese Chafo, Speaker of the House of People of Representatives. Your Excellency Agenyo Tashagar, Speaker of the House of Federation. Your Excellency Mr. Thomas Gentrune, Deputy Prime Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. Your Excellency Mr. Adam Farah of the Prosperity Party main office with the rank of Deputy Prime Minister. Your Excellency Ambassador Salima Malika Hadi, Deputy Chairperson of African Union Commission. Your Excellency Dr. Mohammed al Kweti, Head of Cybersecurity UA Government. Your Excellency Dr. Fonte Anko, Executive Director to ISS. Your Excellency Dr. Gideon Timotos, the Minister of Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Your Excellency Tegist Ahmed, Director General of Information Security Network Security Administration. Honorable Ministers, Honorable Ambassadors, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, all pro protocols observed. Good morning and welcome to the high level policy dialogue on the development and regulation of AI in Africa. In, it is truly an honor to gather here in Addis International Convention Center. Yetakabaru Dr. Abi Hamand, Yevri Taklai Minister, Yela to Ekwerengida. Yetakabara Chuka Fetanya, Yemangisala Fioch, Minister Roch, Ambassador Roch, Terrieta Ragalachu, Ingdoch, Kuratena Kuran. By Africa, the artificial intelligence is not a good thing. It is 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 a good thing. Today, we are stand as an essential moment where our continent can harness the power of innovation, collaboration, and the shared determination to place AI at the forefront of African development. In 2020, His Excellency Prime Minister Dr. Abiy Ahmed declared Ethiopia intention to lead in the emerging field of artificial intelligence by establishing Ethiopian Artificial Intelligence Institute. From our early days, the Prime Minister has championed Ethiopia's AI development declared critical resources for convincing and experts to make this vision into reality. Rather than begin with regulation, we developed a unique approach. We first unlocked innovation by piloting AI solutions across health, agriculture, transport, customs, judiciary, law enforcement, public service uh, infrastructure, development, natural language, processing, finance, skills, and the talent development. To prove concepts and build local capacity in 2025-24, we shaped our experiences into national AI policy setting practice, embedding ethical safeguard establishing regulatory principles and guides inclusive growth. This is innovation first, policy second. Model matters deeply, everyone in, the, in this room and for the continent. Through experimentation, we were able to understand the real world results to shape fair and practice regulation and fold our AI strategy. As the Prime Minister recently noted, we intend to develop this institute just as have natured Ethiopian Airlines into world class, Carrier and Ethio Telecom into continental leaders by combining bold vision, stand for support and hands on experimentation. Guided by the policy, our vision is to become the premium African Center for AI Research and Development by 2030. 
generating homegrown scalable solutions that improve lives across the continent. Our mission is, is completed by our motto, AI for all is foster data driven AI systems that address pressing challenges, enhance efficiency, boost productivity in every sectors from health, agriculture to public service and finance. This achievement would not have been possible without unwavering support of the United Arab Emirates government, which has provided invaluable skills, development opportunities and resources to, in particular, I would like to acknowledge His Excellency Dr. Mohammed al kuwaiti Head of Cybersecurity, UAE government, who is with us here today for the exceptional support to Artificial Intelligence Institute. Ladies and gentlemen, Ethiopia achievements on AI mirror a border African development on AI promise. Governments across the continent are drafting policy strategies and startups are innovating in device sectors of economy. Yet our progress needs not and should not end in national borders. Ethiopia stands ready to share it is lesson from the AI Institute and the private sector. Best practice and resources with parents across the continent. We invite you to collaborate with developing AI solutions that respond to African urgent needs and build future AI talent as cooperation among us multiply our strengths. This progress is highest on potential leaders and wavering commitment. Your presence, ministers, ambassadors, and AI commissioners shows Africa understood AI is not a future luxury. It is 21st century impressive. Equally, the presence of development of partners, tech companies in this room demonstrates that the development and the regulation of AI into Africa is joint effort that requires close collaboration and support more Ever. With this, I argue you to engage fully in today's AI dialogue, shape Africa AI development and the regulation by challenging assumption, sharing your success stories, and discussing with different regulatory approaches. Most importantly, for you participation among your services that will continue beyond these dialogues and deliver real world impact. To conclude, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to His Excellency Dr. Fonte Akom for African Union Institute for Security Studies and Dr. Gideon Temitos, Minister of Ministry of Foreign Affairs for their leadership in convening this critical dialogue and make it reality. To each of you here, thank you all you for your unwavering commitment to shape African AI landscape. Together, let us seize this moment to write the next chapter in African AI story on the reflecting our unique aspiration, rich diversity and pressing needs. With this shared vision and responsibility management, AI holds the power to unlock endless opportunities for our people. Let us move forward with purpose, ensuring that innovation serves our progress across our continent. I thank you.